for the fun of it. Wow, out she's beating hot down here in Taranaki. It's been a hot week at Mahi. Sea's been good all week, but I uh, had a little bit of an incident. Bloody hit the, hit the old tip of the finger with a planer, with an electric planer. So went to the A&E, got that sorted out. They've given me the all clear to go diving. I've just got to be careful with it. And I'm just heading home from Mahi now. Just stopped at the bros and picked up his float boat tomorrow. Going to go for a bit of a shore dive. Um, Bro Red Dogs meeting us back at, um, at home. Going to load up the truck and head down to the water. Going to go check out a bit of a shore reef that I haven't been to for a while. Hoping it's clean enough. Yeah. Quite excited to be honest. It's, uh, it's been at least oh shit, 10 days or something since I've been for a dive. Starting to feed out. So heaps of kingies around at the moment, so I'm going to take the spear guns, some floats. And uh, yeah, should be a good afternoon. Going to take the GoPro, just going to check when I get home, make sure she's all go and we all go. So hopefully we get some good footage, some powers, some crays, some kinners, maybe shoot some fish. It's all exciting. I've uh, got a trip to the South Island coming up in June. Pretty exciting there. I've, um, I was talking to Josh James and Kiwi Bushman the other day. Going to try and catch up with him if he's not too busy while I'm down there and he's going to try and take me to... Um, <coughs> to shoot a tar because I've never shot one before um, but what he did say is that I need to get fit if I even want to have a chance of going so um, I've stopped eating carbs as of today gonna try run a bit of a keto theme uh, gonna get into a bit of exercise I'm, I'm knocking the drinking I already have knocked the drinking back quite substantially um, and yeah gonna get ready for this trip down south um, yeah, and we're looking at taking one of you guys with us for a three-week adventure down south. Watch this space. Yes, yeah, so I need to look into, into the exact dates that I'm going to go and going to run a bit of a raffle um, to see who gets to come along with me. Going to do um, 200 tickets, be 100 bucks a ticket. And uh, the winner, whoever get, whose ever name gets drawn, comes along. We're gonna go and try do some. We're gonna do some hunting and some fishing and some diving, shoot some shit, catch up with some creators, create some content. Um, please um, consider how fit you are and able you are when um, entering the competition because. Um, you know, like, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to be trying to go shoot stuff like tar and chamois, and and uh, from all reports I've been told, it's it's rugged country, and, and unless you unless you're up for it, I wouldn't bother buying a ticket. Um, that's not to say that uh, we couldn't set you up on on something else to do in the South Island while I went up up the hills to do that. Um, so, for your hundred bucks, what you're going to get is a free three week trip down to the South Island, we're going to go down Wayne Coast across the South, maybe over to Stewart Island, haven't decided yet and um, come back up the other coast, diving, fishing and hunting our way around the place um, so that will cover you'll get um, $750 a week to cover your bills while you're um, away from, Ma from Mahi uh, and all food, all purse, all bloody, um, everything covered, and there'll be, um, just, and, you know, extras for us to leave a koha for everywhere we go, and, and, yeah, maybe even, you know, go to a game park or something, see if we can't arrange something like that, so, yeah, it's exciting times. Uh, more details about the um, the raffle will be announced shortly. We're all loaded up.
cleaned it up. No red dog, ready to go. Got our dive gear in the back, just heading down to the spot now. Um, don't expect too much of a uh, landscape view. Maybe a quick squiz and then that's about it. Um, but yeah, I've got the old GoPro with us. So, should be able to get some underwater footage for us. Uh, target animals today are kingfish, uh, butterfish, snapper, um, powers, craze, and kinners. So, let's get it, eh, brother? Sea conditions are it is similar to a lake or a mill pond boys are pretty excited that's all you're gonna get from the outside of the water um, we're gonna hit a bit of a walk it's probably about a five ten minute walk and then get in the water um, and then I'll be able to flick the GoPro on and start buddy filming for you it's pretty exciting stuff really love a good shore dive this will all help with the cardio and getting ready for when I go down south with whichever one of you wins the raffle. Let's get into it. The old hikoi's to the water make it that much more better when you get in there. Shore dives, the breathers. Bro Mangi's met us down here. Fuck, we'll be sweating, we'll be sweating. Still not going to turn around and show you guys the sea so you can get landmarks. If you can figure it out by what you got so far, Kapai, that means you're local. I'll see you down here. So, almost there now. Been walking for about 15 minutes already. Boys are pretty puffed, but be good to get in the water. Can't wait. She's in there. Are you still fucking recording your bars? <laughs> no, I only just started. <laughs> Mungy's got quite a red face and so do I. Red dog's just red full stop. What is it, red dog, yeah? <laughs> dollars, dollars, dollars. <laughs> 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 now nah, we've fucking made it to the edge now. As you can see, it's a rocky coastline. There's some more landmarks for you. Surely you can work it out from that. Uh, oh, eh. But anyways, yeah, we're going to get in the water. I fucking see you in there. Whew, the sea is so flat. Probably be in there for a couple of hours. We've still got to hop across the rocks about 500 metres to get to where I want to go to. And then we're going to swim over and do a bit of a ticky tour of the reef. See what we can find. Alright, so in the water. Been in the water about 10-15 minutes. Swam out a bit. Found a couple not bad sized powers. Um, there wasn't that many powers around on this reef today, so these were the only ones I took. The other ones I did see were mostly a lot smaller. So I just grabbed a couple for a feed, and that'll do us. Oh well, on to the next one, Fano. Alright, let's 
got this half decent sized kinna. Seen a couple of crays, they're a bit small. Let's keep swimming now. Water's beautiful and clean out here. Really shitty and close though. Beautiful afternoon in Taranaki on the Moana. Wow, good vibes, good vibes all around. All right boys, red dog. Come around here side, I can't give these cunts landmarks, boy. Big red dog, just found a cray. He's gonna go down and snatch it, he reckons. All right boy, let's go. Here he goes, red dog's in there. There's our cray, he's coming around the rock. Boom. Good snatch by the red dog. Another cray for the bin. Happy happy days. Alright, I found this um, little formation here, a couple of big boulders pushed up against each other and there's about, I don't know, five or six crays under there all told. A couple of not bad ones. So I uh, went back up, gave the camera to Big Red Dog and he filmed me going back down to have another crack. Pretty much get my whole body wedged in this rock. Um, it's quite a cool little formation. Just in amongst all the rubble. Board photo. So we got craze, a kinna, oh, and some power already. We'll chuck that in there, eh? Get it in our float boat and send one of the boys down to have a crack at one of the others, hopefully. We swam out a little bit deeper here and I found this cool as rock. Checked around this little lava flow all around it pretty sure this is one of uh, mine and my brother's GPS little nests going off the looks of it it's been a long time since I was there had a snatch at that bigger cray and missed him don't worry Fano. I go back down shortly and sort him out but what else I do is I wave mangies over and we film him having a crack at a cray and he snatches this one we'll watch him have a go Just sussed out our plan of attack with mungies. Uh, Red Dog went down and had a look at the craze. Pretty cool really to see them all covered in mud like that um, when most of the rest of them we saw were um, pretty clean so interesting to see. Just another drop to go right down and point them out to mungies because like I just said before they were covered in mud so they're actually really hard to see. 
from the surface. Um, and then I come back up, it's just a little plan, and then we head back down and he snatches one. We'll head in soon, it's starting to get a bit dark. Might see if there's any more in here and then try find another couple and then that's the feed, we're done. This here is uh, actually one of the formations me and my brother found about 15 years ago. Uh, I knew it would be out there somewhere. <coughs> Seems to always be craze on or around it. Got a cool little hole. It's actually really hard to get the craze out of, which is obviously why they live there. But um, yeah, you normally get one or two out of the entrance, and then they all scurry back and yeah, leave it alone, swim on to the next rock. Got out of the water. Boys did pretty well. Lift our cover off, brothers. Got us a feed, got a couple of powers, got a kinna. And uh, yeah, we got a few crays. Boys did all right, actually. Not bad at all. PB. Yeah, got the boys on their PBs. Well, oh, can't see me. I'm right here. We stashed a couple. Uh, we stashed a couple bears up in the rocks. We're just going to scull a quick bear on the uh, edge of the ocean here, and uh, yeah, then we're going to mush back to the trucks. Wide up our catch and we'll head home for a well needed sleep, eh, Mungs? Yeah, right. uh, couple of big days on the truck. A couple of big days on the truck for the boat. So, yeah, might be crayfish on the grill for lunch tomorrow at work. <whistles> yeah, so the boys have got sore feet and about a 15 minute walk back along the beach, but uh, we're into it. We're all in high spirits now that we've got sand under our feet and not bloody millions and millions of little tiny rocks cutting up our feet. 
Kia ora tangaro. Thank you for your gifts today. Car boy. Right, Ofano, we've made it home. Got our craze, some powers. Got Akana. We'll split that open soon and have a look at it. Tell you what, this Cray and me had a hell of an argument on the seafloor. He did not want to come out of his home. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for um, coming along and watching our dive. I had a bloody good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage and uh, when we get some better, more information on the old raffle for our trip down south. Ooh. Your kid is a bit skinny. Unluggy. Unluggy. Uh, where's it? Is it there. Mm. It still tastes amazing though. So yeah. We get some more information about that raffle and where we're going to go. Etc. And we'll work from there. But at the moment it is damn near half past ten. Well, it's time for me to have a shower and get in bed because I got my hair tomorrow. Cha cha, fun.